Hi folks, it's James Joshua Otto here for 8DO and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new 8DO Wurlitzer instrument, the Studio Whirly, which uh, I featured in my new track Lifeline. Um, so let's have a look at the contact interface first of all. You can see it comes with three main articulations, sustained, staccato and muted, um, all of which have different characters um, as well as volume controls for each which is quite helpful. We've got a nice animation to take us into the, into the instrument here. And you can see the first thing that we're met with is these um, controls here, which just help us to shape the sound a little bit. Um, we've got a velocity response control here, which really just helps us to give the sound a bit of uh, tone and character, which is really useful depending on the sort of style of the track that we're writing. We've got a resonance control here, which just adds a lovely subtlety to the sort of warmth of the sound, the depth of the sound. Release tail um, control here, a pedal volume control, um, and then we've got a few controls just here which help us to um, shape the tremolo uh, modeling, which is really a really nice feature. I'll just show you what that sounds like. Pretty standard tremolo, really. But you can see it's got a really nice warmth to it, actually, which is a really nice feature. The uh, stack feature here just adds um, a sort of extra attack to the notes that you're playing particularly useful on the sustains actually um, compared to without that on doesn't have quite the same bite which is um, which is quite a nice touch um, so we've also got the staccato articulations those are really lovely to play with and are really good for adding sort of a lovely texture and um, bite to your track. And we've got the muted articulations which are just sustains but with the tines muted so um, you get that just that sort of t different tail on the sound which is a really nice really nice timbre. So as well as the three different articulations Studio Whirly comes with 13 independent mic stems. Now, the main one here on the left is the um, mix, and that's kind of just a mixture of all the different mic stems. Um, it's the kind of 8DO default. Um, that just gives you a nice, nice warm sound. I'm just gonna switch back to the sustains. Nice balanced sound. Um, we've got the um, Brit, uh, the British amps here, which are running through a Vox amplifier, um, in a, recorded in a room and straight on the amp itself. Um, we've got American uh, amps, so that's going through a Mesa Boogie amplifier. We've also got three different DI inputs here. We've got a clean, warm, and a crushed DI. Um, so those are processed all in different ways, and each has separate uh, unique character which are really nice to, to play with. As well as that we've got stems through two different reverbs here, the Brocasti and the TC6000. Those are yeah those are really lovely for just adding a bit of extra a bit of extra depth and warmth to the to the tone of the sound which is really nice. And finally we've also got the these three extra um, recordings, the mechanical recording, the speaker recording and the tape recording and they just give you even more um, sort of tonal options to use, which are, which are really cool and really helpful. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, a, my track, Lifeline, which I've used all three of the different um, articulations. Um, with each one, I've used different mics just to give us a bit of a different character. Um, so you can see here with the staccato um, articulation, I've used the British sound. So it just gives us a, a little bit more bite um, using those two, I've used the room as well just to give us a bit of extra warmth. I've also made use of the uh, onboard effects as ever with 8DO. They've given us these uh, rack effects. So we've got an EQ, um, a delay and a reverb that I've used here. 
um, and they just, again, just give us an extra texture to the sound. Um, you'll hear with the track, with the staccatos there, that they're, that they're using the delay just to, just to really make the most of that texture, which is a really cool effect. I've also used both, um, both the reverb stems on this, uh, on that channel, just to really help it sit as a texture in the mix rather than as a feature. On the arpeggio sustains here, you can see I've used the American um, stems, amp stems. Um, and they just add a bit more warmth. They just help it really sit in the mix. And uh, on the main sustains here, and on the muted uh, lines, I've just used the main, the main mix uh, for a clear, warm, balanced sound. So let's have a listen to the track. Um, I'll play it all play it all to you for you to hear. Here we go. So you can hear straight away the um, the detail that we get from the delay and the texture of the staccato um, is really lovely actually. It's got a lot of character. character even just the sustains can just really carry the piece like in this section Hopefully that's given you a good sense of the new 8DO Studio Whirly. I've had a lot of fun playing with it and writing with it, and I'm sure you will too. That's it from me today. I'll see you next time.